Hello, teacher and partners. How is it going? My name is Frank Osorio Vasquez. I am a student of Systems Engineer, and I belong to CEAD Medellin. Uh, in this video, I want to share with you my point of view about the last topic we saw on the last assignment, that is the effects of technology on the environment. Uh, and I want to invite you and share with you some of my opinion and my point of view about this difficult topic. Uh, I tell you that it's a difficult topic because it depends on us, but it also depends on our governments because they are on charge of our countries and depend on them, the laws, the articles, the laws that they can make to obligate us to change our mind because we are living in a world that the consumption is, is fast. We are consuming without thinking. We only want to buy and buy and buy things, technology. We want to buy the last cell phone, the last computer, and the other stuff we, we left without use that becomes garbage. Electric garbage, electronical garbage, that is very harmful for our environment. So, I want to show you a little bit of my presentation, and I want to invite you to see it with me. Let's see. Well, first of all, I want to apologize because in this moment it's raining very, very hard. And I think you may hear it, that sound of the drops of water rain over my ceiling. So I want to apologize. Well, let's continue with our topic. I want to show you the presentation I made about the effects of the technology. I began with some history where I tell part of the humankind history when we were cavemen and the jump and through the artifacts that those cavemen developed that became technology we made a big jump to the steam machine and that was a very huge a very huge goal to the humankind that was the point where the humankind started to develop technology from the cavemen with those artifacts and continuing with the ancient cultures like Romans, Greeks, and other big cultures, and then getting to the steam machine. Uh, after passing for, the, for that history, I make this, I want to show you this little phrase that says, the air is what we all have in common. We only have one earth, uh, the NASA maybe could be trying to find some other planets, but no one is, no other is like the, the Earth. No one, no other have oxygen, water, animals, oceans, earth, grass, everything we need to live is in this planet. So we have to take care of, we have to take care of our planet. Please, we need to take we need to change, we need a change of mind. We need to have, we need to change our mind. We need to take control of our consumerism. We have to take care of our disposal, our garbage, our consumerism is making that we change continuously from technological artifacts. We change our cell phone, our computer, our TV, our stereo, we change everything in one, from one moment to another. We have to stop that because when you change one artifact and you let it 
standing over there. Use, let use, let's. Uh, and then it gets into the garbage, into the trash, and then we no, we have no very good disposal of those artifacts. We don't make a correct disposal of the electronic garbage, so that garbage get into our oceans, it gets in, into our lands, they get rust, that rust gets underground and contaminate and contaminate our water. And that is a very, very long list that we can stay here and tell you by hours and hours about that topic. But we only I only want to share with you the this presentation. I want uh, this 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 presentation in this moment is telling something about our sad reality. As I said, I think that guilty are hard. We are guilty, but our governments have to do have to have to deal a lot with it too, because they, as I told at the first of the video, they are in charge of they are in charge of our countries of us. They have to make the laws. They have to make strong laws that obligate the people to. And to recycle, they make up good disposal. They have to change the laws. So when I wrote the letter to the United Nations, I tell the United Nations that they they are in contact with every president in the world, even with the queens. The queens and the kings were the uh, in the countries that have those those kingdoms the united nations they are in contact with them and they are the the figure that can communicate with the our governments and make something about this concern because it's it's very very difficult the disposal we are making of our technology, our useless technology. So I want to invite invite you, and I hope you invite the people around you that change your mind. Please be careful with our earth, our planet, our water, our forests, our animals, everything we need to live. If we don't take care of our of our, our planet, sorry, we are going to live in a desert. And tell me, who can live in a desert with no water, with the heat of the sun? No one can live in a desert. So I invite you, my partners, my teacher, and you invite your friends, your family, your classmates in other assignments that change our, that change that mind. The stop the consumerism. Please be careful. Uh, take care, everyone. Uh, let's. We are. We will see each other in another assignment. Goodbye.